Welcome to ViewTheRace.com. This is Race 13.1 Tallahassee from Tallahassee, Florida. The race starts alongside the many state offices on Esplanade Way in the capital city of Tallahassee. Now stay to the right, so take a quick right on Merchants Row Boulevard and then another quick right onto CEP Way. There are speed bumps along CEP Way, so just be aware of that. Now this course is slightly rolling. There are some small rolling hills throughout this course. And one pretty decent hill that will be coming up soon as we take this left on Schumacher Oak Boulevard. So cross through mile one. As we come up to this stop sign, we'll take a left on Four Oaks Boulevard. And this is the beginning of the toughest hill on the course. Now hopefully your legs have warmed up at this point and it's just a long, slow, gradual uphill. Just going to continue straight through a couple of stop signs. Road levels out a bit right here, and then it's going to kick up again. Now stay the right side of the road as you'll be crossing through mile two. And then you're going to be taking a right onto Barringer Hill, Barringer Hill Drive. Now as soon as you take this right, you're going to have a nice downhill. Again, there's little speed pumps on this road as well, so just be aware of that. At the end of the road, we'll take a quick right. Road's going to flatten out or be slightly downhill, so it'll give you a chance to make up a little bit of time you might have lost on that hill. Beautiful area to run through. Now we're going to take a left onto the Southwood Nature Trail. Now the Southwood Nature Trail circles Central Park and a lake in the center. Just a beautiful area to go for a run as we cross through mile three. Now this course features both bike trails and roads and we'll go back and forth between both during the course of this race again just slightly rolling through this section but mostly flat as you come up to this fork you're going to stay to the left go past the nice playground on the left hand side and we're going to cross over the street and continue straight on the bike path beautiful views of the lake on the right hand side Absolutely gorgeous homes on the left-hand side. Now this part of the course is out and back. It's just a short section behind these houses. So we're going to be heading back this way. In this direction, it is slightly uphill. So we cross through mile four. And right as we reach, almost reach the wooden bridge, we're just going to turn around and head back the way we came. Now again, beautiful homes on the right-hand side. Now you're going to be going slightly downhill. Again, the lake's now going to be on your left-hand side. going to continue straight and cross over Grove Park Drive and head back on the bike trail. But now at this point we're going to take a left and continue circling around the lake. So you'll almost do a complete circle around the lake during this course as we cross through mile five. Again just a beautiful wooded area with a lake on the right hand side now. Continue on the Southwood Nature Trail as it twists and turns along the lake. Stay to the left, and at this point we're going to cross over and return to the roads. Now as soon as you get on Terrebonne Drive, you're going to have a nice downhill. This is a really good downhill. Stay to the right. We'll take a quick right onto Schoolhouse Drive. We cross through mile six. Florida State University Schools on the right-hand side now. Now at this stop sign, we'll take a right onto Four Oaks Boulevard. Get nice and flat through this section. Stay to the right side of the road as we'll be taking it right into Bald Cypress Way. This is another just quick out and back section of the course. Right about here, we're just going to turn around and head back the way we came. So just a quick out and back on Bald Cypress Way. And we're going to take a right back onto Shumard Oak Boulevard. At this point, we're heading back towards the start and the finish of the race, but we're going to go by Esplanade Way. And we're going to take a left onto Capital Circle Southeast Trail. Now the next five and a half miles of this course are out and back on the Capital Circle Southeast Trail. Now this part of the course is rolling. There's just some slight undulations as you continue along the trail. So you cross through mile eight. But for the most part, it's mostly flat. Uh, at this point in the course, your legs might be tiring just slightly. It's important to really maintain your concentration. 
You can see a good distance in front of you along this trail. You just got to maintain your concentration and control your breathing and maintain a nice steady pace. Now the charity partner for this race is Mercy Ministries. Since 1983, Mercy Ministries free of charge voluntary Christian residential program has served a diverse population of young women ages 13 to 28 from various socioeconomic backgrounds who are struggling with life controlling issues such as eating disorders, addiction and depression. Race 13.1's charity partners will receive 100% of the proceeds from donations made by participants at registration. So not only can you enjoy this great event, event but you could also support a great cause. Now as we continue on the Capitol Circle Southeast Trail, we're going to cross through mile 10 and soon after mile 10 you're going to reach the turnaround point and we're going to head back the way we came. Now right about here the road's going to kick up quite a bit and as soon as you hit this turnaround you're going to have a nice downhill. So again the slight undulations in the road you're going to feel them as your legs start to tire. If you were fresh it might not feel like a hill but as your legs start to tire even the smallest undulations you can start to feel them in your legs. Now at this point in the course you know exactly what's ahead of you as we start to head back towards Esplanade Way. Just a couple of miles to go. Again this is a beautiful area to run. Beautiful woods on the right hand side. Nice wide path to run on. Again, it's very important to maintain your concentration when you can see a good distance in front of you. It's easy to let your speed slip. I'm going to cross through mile 12. Now as we come close to the end of the bike trail, the road's going to kick up just a bit more. Right before we take the right on Shumard Oak Boulevard. Again, just a slight incline. The last little test before we return to the flat roads and then the finish. I'll stay to the right as the bike path will end and we'll be taking it right onto Shumard Oak Boulevard. Now, as soon as you take this right, if you have anything left, it's time to sprint to the finish. Thank you for viewing the race at viewtherace.com.